Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest utility vehicles video where I show the best fully upgraded utility vehicles in terms of lap time. For all the information you need about this series, check the original utility vehicles video, but otherwise let's see where the new slam truck falls into that list. And firstly, say hello to the first ever DLC vehicle added to the utility class that is actually raceable. It's the second DLC vehicle added to the class overall after the MOC, which means Utility has actually had as many DLC vehicles as the Coupés class. But with the MOC obviously not being raceable, this is the first new thing that can be used in races when the class is set to Utility. However, you won't want to be using it in any competitive sense though, since its lap time of 1 minute 30.326 actually puts it closer to the MOC in third place, it's only about two seconds quicker than the MOC, than the Saddler in first. It's still a good 10 seconds per lap slower than the number one of the Saddler, which has reigned supreme for the utility vehicles class uh, from, from the start. So it, it is interesting that the Slam Truck is raceable. If anything, it's, it, it's more weird that there's so many utility vehicles that aren't raceable, you know, we've got sort of 18, 19 utility vehicles and yeah, we only have a selection of sort of five or six to actually use in races. And it's also kind of, it's, it makes no sense that if the utility vehicles class is available to race that emergency, military, things like that aren't. But nevertheless, it is a brand new vehicle for the utility vehicles class, only the second that we've ever seen. Um, it puts coupes further down the list of uh, we've had a uh, you know vehicles added to other classes before coupes <laughs> and since coupes, but uh, yeah, it, it you know it's a fun car to a fun vehicle to drive. It's quite a challenge. Obviously, it's not that quick. It's more difficult in the corners. We will see it top speed in the top speed testing video later today. But yeah, it, I don't, I'm pretty sure it has no functionality. By the way, on the ramp, I tried to sort of pick up a few cars with it. And it, it, you can sort of ramp cars onto it, but you can't lock them in place or anything like that. So it is quite expensive for what it is. And the prevalence of utility vehicle races in the first place is pretty minimal. And if you're going to do one or, or the host puts it to that to try to catch people out, you're just going to use a saddler anyway. So, yeah, you take that as you will. Obviously, you can see the comparison here. The slam truck is significantly slower than the saddler. It's a little bit closer when it comes to top speed, but obviously it just can't get around the corners very well because it is so big and bulky. And the fact that it's much, much close, you know, it's 10 seconds, more than 10 seconds behind the uh, saddler, but it's only two seconds quicker than the MOC kind of tells you the full story. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Consider supporting on Patreon. I'll become a YouTube member if you want testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.